here is my Walking Dead Rick's shotgun. I got it from Dollar Store for 15 bucks. You go on anywhere online and they're like 40, 50 dollars. But 15 bucks at the Dollar Store. Can't beat that. I've already taken it apart and uh, just to show you guys some of the mods that's been done. Um, I modded this myself. Also, when you're taking this apart, uh, this is the back hatch that covers this little area back here. Um, there is a screw that is up underneath this. It's a tricky little screw uh, that, that's hidden by this whenever you go to take this apart. And when you take all the screws out, I recommend flipping it over like this on this side that way all the the trigger pins stay in place let's uh, pop this on out and you see that I've got rid of the string you, you, you cut this string I get a better view here you, you cut the string initially and and just just leave it and you, you take this you take your plunger out you take your plunger out and you, you have to work with it it's it's going to get you know kind of hard to get in and out but you, you, you'll manage what i've done you take take this plunger and you you hot glue you hot glue this uh, this right here is a, a single piece and then hot glue this on to your your plungers and that makes it a good tight seal also hot glue around these just any way to keep air from getting out that way you get maximum pressure and then I'll show you here you drill a little hole back here a little hole about three eighths or so and then you you feed that string back through down here and it has to be in this spot because that lines up with your plunger so and then you, then you tie a little knot in it and then uh, your firing pin or your trigger pins or this it just sits right in there just like you have to pull these back though it sits in if I can get it just like that you gotta hold those in see it'll you pull that back it pulls this one and then it eventually does that one that's how the gun is able to shoot one barrel and then the other but if this was to come off it's very simple put that back on put this this end around this pin bring it up put that that one around that loop it under and hook it up underneath the end of this very simple but yeah hot glue that thing and get it as airtight as you can get it um, there's another piece that was in here uh, that was that held the uh, the string this piece get rid of it don't need it throw it, throw it somewhere throw it in your parts bin um, let's see what else uh, uh, up here up here there was a uh, there's a piece that you can just get rid of cut off it uh i, I believe on the original the original way it went it was to prevent the barrel from bending uh downwards too far don't need it i just clipped it off boom done um i put a little hot glue in this area right here to keep this little piece here a little bit more sturdy because there's pressure on it 
when you know, you're, you're pulling the trigger. Um, let's see. A lot of people they'll uh, they'll cut the barrel like right in here and and make it a solid off shotgun. Uh, I ain't gonna do that, but if you do, stay in front of that screw right there. Stay in front of it, like over here, because if you if you cut back here, then there's nothing holding this together. So if you do, stay ahead of that screw. Just stay ahead of it. Okay. I wanna. All right. So you've already got your screw, your hole drill back here. You got your your wire through it. You've got your knot. Make sure you're oriented right. This is this is flat to this, and then just wiggle it in. Just wiggle it on in. Boom! Just like so. Also, you see these holes right here. You see those holes. You take a drill bit and drill them things out bigger. Drill them out bigger, get rid of that air restrictor. But be careful not to go too far back and hit your plunger. Let me get that back in frame. Be careful not to go too far back and, and get into your plunger right here. That'd be a bad deal. But drill those out. Maximum pressure. Don't hit your plunger when you do it. Okay. Let's uh, let's go ahead and put this thing back together. You want to get this? Uh, well, it doesn't hurt to go through that. Well, yeah, it does too. Well, no. No, I don't. See, they, they, they rest. Oop, there goes the spring. They rest right on the bottom of that right there. Let me get this fixed. Lordy, hey. So you want your string coming through the trigger. The second, but between the two triggers, the between the two triggers here. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. And pop. All right, lift this up. Let it sit right there. Lift that. Let it sit right there. Right there is how it sits. Right there, and then you can just yank this sucker, and and you're you're, you're cocking it at that point. All right. Now, in putting it back together here, you uh, you got to you got to finesse it a little bit right here because of the extra hot glue. It makes it a little difficult sometimes and then this pin back here you gotta get it in the right hole so and then like boom just like that except uh, except one thing here I believe we need uh, the trigger don't you think boom Pop that in. Uh, I believe you can put that in later. Because it actually, you no. Know, now it goes right there. This, your, your lever that uh, lets the gun break down, just like so. That little knob goes on the spring. That slides through that. Boom, boom. Everything is accurate. Now, 
we can line it back up you can you can even put the other the barrel on here whoop silly camera you can put your barrel back on even lock it down like that and this is what it looks like in case you've lost some pieces if you have a piece and you do not see it here you don't need it if you have any questions um, message me leave a comment let me get this uh, fixed here Okay, everything's ready to snap back on. You just boy, you gotta watch that little plunger area up there. And boom. And we are back together. I'll even give you a This would work so much better if I had it screwed together. But, and here it is. As soon as the camera, okay. And, yeah, the thing hits like a truck. Hits like, and another thing. I've seen one or two videos of people modern these shells and I've done three of mine I've been waiting so I could show you guys uh, the only downside that I've seen to modern shells is they can occasionally fall out on you they're, they're, they're really loose but they can fall out on you see just straight open get rid of everything in there drill it out drill it out with uh, I believe that's probably like a I don't know 3 sixteenths inch bit probably somewhere around that area and uh, I'll show you the process um, take a, a screwdriver and, and just push it up through here like so and, and usually it's just just like that all this stuff here don't need it don't need it you see how the bullet is made here air has to go through this and then out these two sides here and then up into the dark you know, I mean that's that's a little inefficient so what you would do is take a pair of snippers like this boom cut that off right there just just cut her off and then whatever's left take a knife and smooth it off like I did these you just just smooth it off and then um, sometimes they don't come off real real even real perfect just uh, when this cap when you put the cap back on just line it back up to where it once was maybe even drop a dab of uh, super glue down in here and then swirl the bullet and then give it a, a few minutes to dry and, I mean it'll give you a little bit it gives you a little bit of extra oomph. Um, I mean, it's it's debatable, but uh, I mean, you, I don't have no way of testing how fast it, it makes it versus the shell mod. But uh, 
it does seem like it it gives it some some power uh, they actually start to curve a little bit I mean they 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 hit hard they hit hard <laughs> all right boys if you uh if y'all know anything else see there's another one that I've done I, I left the black ring inside that one with the uh, spring underneath it and uh just for comparison's sake it, it it made no difference so it's just better off to just leave it hollow just leave it hollow if uh if you like this guide you know give, give me a like uh give me a comment i'd love to hear from you guys um you know, I, I'm tr trying to help everybody mod their mod their Walking Dead Rick's shotgun, and uh, yeah, leave me a comment or share. Um, if uh, if I've earned your uh, subscription, please subscribe to my channel. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe and don't shoot nobody in the face with this thing. It uh, it shoots pretty hard. Peace.